what is your business drive? What is the fuel that actually drives your business? Is it uh, to make an impact through the goods and services that you have? Or is it to make money strictly? Well, on GA Startup, we have a very, very different story altogether. The death of his mother led to the establishment of his startup, which is now a name in the shoe manufacturing space here in Ghana. 33-year-old Noel Nuchuga has been telling Grace Hamwa Asari about how he turned his lemons into lemonades. Take a look. His mother was passionate about charity and touching lives. Unfortunately, she didn't live too long to touch more lives. This was the starting point for the Warm Dear Feet shoe brand. I visited the production house for the full story. The whole intention is to make and sell shoes and then use the proceeds to impact society. That's, that's what drove Warm Dear Feet. 33-year-old Noel Nuchuga needed to raise money to continue his mother's charitable works whilst meeting demands in the shoe and fashion supply chain. As usual, financial challenges are prominent. They have become the main bane of many businesses in Ghana, especially the startups. As expected, the starting point of every business is very, very difficult. We have to fall on families, we have to fall on friends, we have, we have, we have to fall on even some uh, financial institutions for loans and so on. As we speak, we are still repaying some of the loans, except that things are looking positive for us. And I must say that very soon, all of these debts will be off, and then we'll be able to focus more attention on our social entrepreneurship. Again, another challenge is having to do with high impost duties. With a fluctuating currency, the price for the soles for the shoes is not stable on the market and that affects the business. The import duties are so huge that there seems to be no strategy or whatsoever for startup businesses. And it's killing us. It, it makes our prices look outrageous to some people, to so many people. Um, a lot of people would have to see the quality before they feel okay, the quality matches the sort of price. Otherwise, on the face value, people don't want to do business with you. But the line to succeed had been drawn and there was no turning back. Warm their feet began production and the first batch of desert shoes were produced. From a business that started with making only 14 pairs of shoes, the brand is now able to produce over 400 or more in a month depending on the demand. He's not only producing desert shoes, but has also introduced a new line of quality leather sandals for men and children. This is in line with the charitable aspect of their project. Our charity has focused on the education sector. This year, for example, we are going to donate about 100 shoes to lots of communities where we have brilliant but needy children, children school, of school going ages who cannot afford uh, a pair to wear. So we are going to, that's our major project for. 2019. For him, the SME sector in Ghana has a lot of potential and must be supported with adequate funds. The government ought to deliberately create a strategy that seeks to empower local industries, that seeks to empower startup businesses like us. So for example, if you have some sort of waiver for startup businesses, that should be a plus for us. We would have a lot of uh, things going on well for us if we can save some more. Until the needed support is received, determination and willpower will always be key. At some point, it was difficult, but I, I am I'm someone who's been trained to resist some of these uh, tough times. For me, giving up is, is just too late. I mean, I've, got, I've gone too far to give up on anything it was that I was doing. So, yes, those tendencies will come up, but I have resisted them and we have moved the brand to where we are now. Noel encourage young entrepreneurs to be innovative and take advantage of the various social media avenues to exhibit their products. This is what he has for upcoming entrepreneurs. If I was a loner on this journey, it would have been so difficult. So I would advise that they discuss ideas with people they trust. They should be willing to take on partnership. Sometimes people are so reluctant to entertain the idea of partnership because of the share of profit. You know, and I always say that 
it is better if you get 50 percent of 100,000 Ghana cities. It is better than getting 100 percent of 10,000 Ghana cities, right? So once you are you have a joint force, there are brilliant ideas that will come on board. You can dwell on to make. Uh, greater things. The SME sector is a big one that has space for everyone to operate. The One Beer Feet brand has come to stay and it is ready to bridge that gap in the shoe supply chain. For the mover segment on Business Focus on TV3, Grace Hamwa Asari, Accra.